Some of you guys, uh, another Bible study, Bible reading, Titus 3. Remind them to be subject to rulers, to authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good deed. And this is Paul right into Titus. Um, we need to be ready for every good deed. We need to be focused on God. Focused on being a light, letting him, him shine his light through us. To malign no one. To be peaceable, gentle, showing every consideration for all men. For we also once were foolish ourselves, disobedient, deceived, enslaved to various lusts and pleasures, spending our life in malice and envy, hateful, hating one another. And a lot of us did used to be like that, but God has changed a lot of us. But when the kindness of God our Savior and His love for mankind appeared, when His love was displayed through offering His the Son, offering Yeshua, Jesus, for us, He saved us. Not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness, but according to his mercy. See, there's nothing we can do to earn heaven. We would have to be absolutely perfect throughout our whole life. No mistakes, no sin is not breaking one of God's laws. And that's impossible for us human beings. That's why we need a savior. But according to his mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior. See, the Holy Spirit changes us. Once we turn our life to Christ, once we give our life to God and dedicate ourselves to God, he gives us the Holy Spirit and the Spirit changes us. From the inside out. So that being justified by his grace, we would be made, made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Made heirs with Christ. This is a trustworthy statement. And concerning these things, I want you to speak confidently so that those who have believed God will be careful to engage in good deeds. See, a lot of people aren't teaching that nowadays. Paul taught it a lot. Now, a lot of people teach only Paul and skip this stuff. They only quote certain verses like this. A lot of people just teach to believe. But even the devil believes there has to be repentance, a change of heart, tr truly turning to God. And the Holy Spirit helps us change. We're, sanct we're sanctified daily. It's a lifelong sanctification through the Holy Spirit. But we're justified by the blood. And the Holy Spirit leads us to good deeds, good works. These things are good and profitable for men. The good deeds. But avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and strife and disputes about the law. For they are unprofitable and worthless. Reject a factitious, uh, a factious person, a factious man, after a first or second warning. Someone who's 
causing division. Knowing that such a man is perverted and is sinning, being self-condemned. When I send Artemis or Tychicus to you, make every effort to come to me at Nicopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Diligently help Zenus and the lawyer and Apollos on their way so that nothing is lacking for them. Our people must also learn to engage in good deeds to meet pressing needs so that they will not be unfruitful. See, he speaks so much about it. So many people ignore that. And so many people just keep it teach a cheap grace. All who are with me greet you. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. And that's the end of uh, Paul's letter to Titus, the end of Titus 3. May God bless you guys.